everyone, and welcome to the podcast. I'm not drunk. I'm autistic. I am Nara Birch, um, and today is another episode about. Ooh, I'm not nip slipping. I should do one more button up. There we go. Just for this, at least I usually leave one button open because they tend to just. Oh. Wow, great start, right? Um, talk about my tism. Yeah, this is kind of what this little like. This little video episode is about just a chance for us to kind of like knit together or crochet or whatever you do and just talk about artism. Except I'm the only one talking, but that's okay. Um, if you want, you can pause it and talk back to me and I wouldn't mind, or just like talk now, do it, whatever. Be yourself, have fun. I talk to myself all the time. <laughs> Not just to myself, but also to the voices in my head. Um, anyways, ooh, I'm trying not to sneeze. It's gonna happen though. Um, awesome, <laughs> we're, we're done. Okay, again, this is no editing because I don't know how to edit yet. That's for in the future when I'm more famous. Um, when I'm more famous, Jesus Christ, when I can afford to get like actual equipment and things like that, Jesus Christ. Um, I want to be famous. That's, that's my end goal here. Um, I actually, I tattooed it on myself yesterday. You probably can't see. I didn't actually tattoo it. I just wrote it with a purple gel pen. But, um, it's one of my favorite quotes. It's, I'll change the world before I go. It's from a, a Less Than Jake song. And I don't know, I just, anytime I want to kill myself, I just, that's one of the things I think about. The fact that I haven't changed the world yet, so... I'm stuck here still. Wow, super happy. But hey, I think I think talking about this, <laughs> I'll put a trigger warning somewhere. I'm sure trigger warning. I guess um, passive. I have a lot of passive suicidal thoughts, like all the time. Like today, I, it's and it's not even about wanting to die so much as just. Um, oh, sorry, I was trying to figure out what, uh, what, there's a lot of different strings here, so I'm trying to figure out which one I was knitting with. It's, um, more about just wanting to end the, just the suffering, I guess. I don't know, I'm not going to kill myself. I pinky promise. I'm good. I have techniques, but those thoughts don't go away, and that's why we should talk about them, because there's nothing wrong with you if you feel those thoughts, as long as you aren't hurting yourself. I don't know. Um, I just don't want, I want people to feel less alone. I want people to feel less alone. Um, don't worry, myself and all of my friends want to kill ourselves too. This is probably, I don't know. See, my sense of humor is super, like, fucked up, I feel like. So I think this is hilarious. Um, it might not be. If it's not funny to you, feel free to click off. Because... That's how I, that's how I cope with all of my shit. I, um, laugh about it instead of, well, instead of cry. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been crying a lot today. Um, <laughs> but, I don't know, laughing about it helps too. Um, so, oh, I forgot. I went straight into suicide and I didn't even talk about what I'm knitting. Um, I'm knitting the same thing as last. Um, video episode, my um, stash busting helix hat that's called the the Jesus Would Hate Your MLM hat. It's going to be my podcast knitting for, for a little bit until I finish it. Although, dude, I've done this in like a day, honestly. I did this whole thing in about a day. So, yeah, pretty proud of myself. Um, and then what I'm wearing, this is my first um, ever sweater that I knit. It's... Um, my fairy dust cardigan. The um, actual pattern name is the um, Peggy Sue cardigan, and I just cast on my second one. It's gonna be really pretty. It's gonna be this like mix of pink and oranges, and it's called the Sue Ladle cardigan because that's what my drag mom named me. Um, her name is Rue Campbell, and she was like, "Let's go with the soup thing." So I'm Sue Ladle, and I love it because like. I want my whole drag persona to just be like a 1950s pinup because that's kind of my jam. I also, oh, I have a matching headband as well that I knit. Um, as you can see, I take great care to style my hair and put on a shit ton of makeup. Um, it's 
So sorry if I look kind of like an urchin under the bridge. That's just how I, that's just how I roll, man. I'm not like the other girls. Um, sorry, my boyfriend and I say that a lot just when we're, when we're being ironic. I'm not like the other girls. I haven't brushed my hair in months. <laughs> What's a hairbrush? Um, actually, no. The reason I don't brush my hair is because it really hurts because I'm autistic and it's one of the worst sensory experiences I've ever had and I'm so glad I decided to shave half my head and cut off a bunch of my hair. Like, even this is a little too much hair for me. I'll probably go... Uh, that was me doing a scissor noise. Um, trim, trim. Uh, um, yeah, soon. I don't know. I like cutting my hair. I love it. It feels so freeing because, like, it's something that definitely was not approved of by most of the people I spent my time around. And, uh, yeah, it's freeing. Like, actually, I, so my ex-spouse really liked my hair to be longer, which it wasn't terribly long. It was usually, like, down to here, I think, but like the tangles, the fucking tangles, man, were ridiculous. It hurt so much about every year I would have to cut it all off and start again and I fucking hated it. So when um, like I decided that I was going to leave my, my spouse, I just went into the bathroom and just like took some scissors and just chopped most of it off and like did like because I've always I always wanted to do like a half of a shaved head or something and my spouse would always be like no 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 you'd look hideous so I went and fucking did that and I love it um and it isn't shaved right now I haven't like normally I just kind of hack at it with scissors but sometimes my girlfriend I'll go to her breeze ratchet salon and we'll, we'll do my hair um that hasn't happened in a hot second but that's okay. I like the way I look kind of right now. Um, I'm featuring gorgeously broken glasses, which I noticed in my first video. I should have put my hair on the other side to hide it. Um, again, executive functioning. I got a new prescription for glasses months ago and I lost the paper and so now I have to go back to the eye doctor to get the said paper and Jesus Christ has it been taking me a while and instead I'm just kind of living with the wrong prescription for right now just because even that little act can feel like too much but it's okay because I've gotten really good at something I've really been trying to work on is sectioning what days I need to worry about something like we recently had not not a problem with bills um my boyfriend was not able to work for like a couple of weeks so his paycheck was a couple of days not even a couple of weeks whatever his paycheck was half of what it usually is so we had to do a lot of and unfortunately it was the pay cycle where my car payment um comes out which is like our biggest expense of all so we've kind of had to like do a lot of uber eating and uh hustling to try to to make enough money to just take care of like the two bills that were coming out on um auto pay and we so I've I've been just trying to like all right today we're worrying about this this car repair bill um on Monday we 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 had we got we got most of what we needed for our internet bill but on Monday we're going to focus on getting the rest of the internet bill um at, from Uber Eatsing and Uber Eatsing I don't know that sounds weird um <laughs> but like yeah I'm really trying to um section section my anxiety because it doesn't work of course my anxiety is just a shit show but I like to have a little control over whatever I can at least and this tactic seems to help a little bit um like I have to go to the bank sometime this week but this that's a that's a task that is not as pressing or as time urgent so it's been a task we've kind of been like okay we don't need to worry about this right now right now we need to just focus on this and getting our, our shit done. Um, I'm actually super proud of myself. I know I pushed myself way more than I should have um, recently, but I've also accomplished a lot too. And I'm like, like the other day, I had a really successful day. I like fed myself like three times. Was that yesterday? Yesterday. Oh my gosh. No, yesterday I like fed myself like a decent human amount of food. I drank, well, I don't drink water. I drink unsweetened tea because I don't like just plain water. And uh, I've quit seltzer waters cold turkey, which has been difficult as fuck. Um, not, not 
as bad as I thought, though. And it definitely helps with our budget, because you drink nothing but seltzer water. I usually, usually get, like, oh, if you'd like to see, because I am a disgusting creature. Um, this is my bedroom, by the way. I've moved our, our mattress on the floor. We don't have a bed. We're a work in progress. But uh, I'm a disgusting creature, so I just have empty seltzer bottles everywhere. Um... Yeah, I just would, like, go get a shit ton of these, and that's all I would drink, but that's not good for your teeth, so. Um, and instead of throwing it in a garbage can, I'm just gonna re-toss it on the floor and not think about how I am a gremlin. Um, I'm happy. It's okay. It's okay. Our first, okay, so we're working out. The thing is, this is my last year. Okay, last year, it's been a year since I escaped from my abusive ex-spouse, like legitimately a year, and I'm in my new house. Um, we stayed another year, cause why not? We like it here. I have some pretty trees in the backyard. <gasps> ooh, ooh, I could do vlogs outside. Sorry, I'm stimming really hard, but this is why we need the video aspect, so you can see me stimming in real life. Um, processing. Trees! I love trees. I adore trees. They talk to me. I love them so much. I have three trees in my backyard and their names are, um, Herman? Herman! Uh, sorry, it's a, it's a, if you've ever seen, like, not the Disney movie Cinderella, but like, the, the musical, the, the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical version? I don't know. Um, they have a song about names and Herman is one of the names and I always, my trees not only all have names, they also, some of them have songs that I sing to them. Um, so we have Herman, Eleanor, and Penelope in my backyard. Um, and in case you're wondering, Penelope is not my favorite of them, but she's the one that's like directly in my backyard. So she's like, I don't know, Eleanor and Herman are kind of more like the, the parental ones and Penelope's more like my friend kind of thing. Um, so... She, uh, <laughs> so in my head, I have an imaginary fairy band that's, it's a punk band called Autistic Fixation, although we do other, we just basically just, whenever I listen to music, I just picture this concert in my head, or, um, if it's a musical, the hearth fairy troupe will come on. Wow, I'm going real personal here. Um... Sorry, I'm starting to, like, blush. Um, but the tree, Penelope, she, this is why I went into this. Um, she is, she plays, um, uh, like, the saxophone and all that shit and the, the, the ska punk songs. And she looks like, her, her, her human form is depicted as uh, Nami from One Piece. Um, yeah, so we can do some shit out there, too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just thought of that. I'm super stoked. Um, I love being outside. It's it's currently March, um, and I live in Cleveland. And so that means yesterday it was 60 degrees, and today it's snowing. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's Cleveland weather in a nutshell for ya. Um, so I have not been able to go outside, which sucks, because I love being outside. I love it. It's my favorite thing. I can also take you guys on, like, hikes through the woods. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. <laughs> okay, um, anyways. Anywho, I think that might be all for now. Right? Right. I have to watch this back to see what I talked about because I don't remember. All I remember is talking about my trees, quite honestly. Oh, I love trees. I love trees. I actually, so I'm I'm hopefully going to record my very first tickety talk soon. And I have a plan. And I'm going to go to my mom tree and film with her. And I've gotten to see her once since um, winter began. We went the other week. Um, we were like Uber Eatsing, because that's the new terms, <laughs> I don't know why, I just like calling it that, um, and we found ourselves near the park that my mom lives in, and so we went and we visited her, and it was nice to see her, but I, I really just want to, like, I have a book that, um, I bought from 
it was actually really cute. It was like a used book site that it's a good place. Like they give books to other people if you buy books, but like they sent me a little email telling me, pretending to be my book and being like, oh, I've been sitting on the shelf between this and this waiting for you to, to rescue me. And um, it's a book, it's called Love Janice. And it's um, Janice Joplin's sister wrote, um, took all of like the letters that Janice wrote her and put them in a book with pictures. And I've looked at the pictures, of course I had to. Um, but I've been saving the book for like, I don't know, I'm gonna take a joint, I'm gonna take a, some knitting, I'm gonna take a snack or two and just hang out by my tree for like a couple hours and just knit and just enjoy each other and listen to some music and look through this book and maybe go on a walk afterwards. It's gonna be lovely, I'm so stoked. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so thank you guys. So much for watching me um depending on where you are if you are on YouTube's watching this and not Spotify any people watching on Spotify 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 please disregard but I have a an audio podcast too um where I talk about like very specific topics like um um hell if I remember uh, <laughs> control and um, meltdowns and decompression and and just I try to talk about more specific autistic autism topics anyways um, yeah I also have an email address the autistic pinup at gmail.com if you want to email me I like getting emails from people I'm sorry that my stimming keeps shaking the table um, fun fact just one more one more fun thing before I go just because I'm really proud of the what the, the surface that my camera is on, uh, we found in um, an, an attic, we found this 1940s um, sewing table that has like one of those sewing machines inside. And then the top is just like a desk and then you can like pull it open and it is the coolest fucking thing in the world. I looked it up. It is like $800 to buy. It is the most expensive and beautiful thing I own in the world. And like, I, I, I use it as my desk. It's really cute. It's in the corner of my room. Although I moved everything. I got to put this all back before I go to sleep. Um, you guys don't need to hear about that. Thank you so much for watching me and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.